Hey everybody, uh, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Uh, I wanted to uh, let you know on the next steps for um, Quant Labs, where we're going and all that. Obviously you're looking at the iqfeed.net uh, uh, website screen here. Um, just wanted to <clears throat> let you know about some stuff that's uh, currently being investigated. I have no doubt that iqfeed's the best um, data provider out there for uh, market data. Um, what I want to show you is with the um, with the uh, data uh, this, this data provider is it's fairly affordable um, right now uh, as for me starting out in the strategies uh, I'll be focusing on uh, Forex and futures uh, I don't know if you've heard about the Bill Gates on the is it called the equity march to death or something like that where basically he's saying that uh, equities is dying over time um, been part of many local uh, online meetup groups uh, here in Toronto, Canada. Uh, it seems that that that, that consensus is, is is out there for sure as more and more are straying away from equity and direct equity, even mutual funds, We're moving more into futures and uh, Forex. So for now, that's what uh, I'll be focusing on. Strategies will be focused on that. And right now, uh, Quantlabs.net is going to go into now a paper trading uh, mode. Um, I've spent many, oh god, months, weeks, you name it, hours, sleepless nights, uh, going through platform after platform, which one's the best. Um, and uh, what I've come across is quite simply uh, the .NET one that I've originally liked. Uh, it's still my favorite. Um, the community's strong. It's very active updated quite frequently and I'm quite happy with that uh, and as well it's uh, win obviously Windows based because it's .NET and C Sharp uh, total open source um, there's a few things there I'll, I'll talk about in a bit um, as you know I've looked at pretty well every other open source uh, trading platform out there under the sun mainly for quant purposes I'm not technical trading I mean there's a diamond dozen that do that just go to Source SourceForge and look them up. There's a ton of them. Uh, for those that don't know, just go to here at SourceForge. Just type in um, your uh, whatever you're looking for. Eesh. Goddamn. Ask.com. Blah. Okay, SourceForge.net. So yeah, you just go under here, SourceForge.net. Type in, I don't know, open source. Uh, or just tr type in trading platform um, and you'll get a whole slew of these. Mostly are, are, are written in Java. Um, I've looked at other ones, um, one called ActiveQuant, another one called uh, um, uh, uh, AlgoTrader. Uh, those platforms are probably very adequate if you are prepared to go through long painful hours of uh, just tinkering around with stuff that may or may not work. Um, as it stands right now, uh, I just don't have the time. Time is not on my side anymore. I don't have the patience for it. Um, therefore, I'm moving with this .NET platform. Uh, and that's where that is. So that platform is basically a, a done deal on that decision. Um, the next step is trying to uh, uh, basically have my trading platform that does execution executes the trades the orders um, how do I enable that and bridge it um, with um, R or MATLAB for my analytics tool uh, I'm, I'm looking at um, well obviously if you've been following me it's R um, and I wouldn't be surprised I'll be uh, throwing MATLAB out there as well now part of my other challenge has been trying to find uh, a bunch of uh, ways to um, do it in a free way. Um, there is ways to do it. Um, I I'll let me just show you like where I've where where I've come across. So if I do um, one called R dot net, uh, this 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 R package is quite good. Uh, it actually works. It's great. The problem is when I'm building strategies in my dot net platform is that. 
um, that plot that that platform requires you to do your strategies in a DLL or a dynamic link library um, unfortunately the, the rnet this rnet just seems to fail um, and maybe it does or doesn't work I don't know um, to call uh, these these calls sort of things from within a DLL versus a, a, a let's say a console application maybe it works maybe it doesn't I don't know again I'm just getting exceptions on the platform uh, I've posted uh, queries on this uh, discussion forum and no responses so that tells me that it is not possible um, maybe it is maybe it isn't I don't know I've also gotten reports that this plot this 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 R package or this this project is is very um, buggy uh, what's what typically happens with R uh, there was another one um, I can't remember the name of it but a, a, as R evolves um, basically uh, as R evolves it uh, basically uh, puts these type of packages and makes them obsolete um, and you're at the mercy of these developers of these projects so that's put me in a position of difficulty where therefore um, again going from free to commercial where I'm now going to be paying anywhere from 100 to 200 dollars to enable me to bridge uh, between my dotnet trading platform and my R analytics tool or my MATLAB analytics tool and you pay a monthly fee there um, each month uh, for that pleasure of doing that between this open source platform. There is a big advantage with that is that if there's new developments or upgrades in either let's say MATLAB or R, um, there will be obviously a new update with um, this service to enable me to bridge between uh, the R or the MATLAB because obviously that trading platform software vendor will still want my hundred dollars so they're not going to be able to charge me for that hundred dollars if that service does not work so it's in their best interest to maintain that bridge if there is an upgrade or a change on a technical level between R or MATLAB that breaks that that connection so there is that advantage when you pay that hundred dollars per month now one of the other big challenges which comes back to uh, IQ feeds is uh, the uh, IQ feeds um, or any platform uh, is very limited on data capture or data uh, what data uh, you can import into the platform I've looked at other um, uh, programs or applications one called uh, Q collector um, this one's quite good actually um, and obviously there's only two versions uh, for Q Collector. Um, there's one for uh, uh, Q Collector DTN IQ feed, which I just talked about, which is basically here, or uh, the eSignal version. Um, so these are two separate licenses, but obviously I've got um, the, the DTN Q, Q, IQ feed. Um, this software works great. It works flawlessly with my other open source uh, trading platform uh, the .NET one um, so there's ways to go about and automating uh, back testing and all, all kinds of great stuff that I can play around with with this trading platform and integrate it with the um, the trade works the only challenge I'm finding is is this business of um, this developers guide using through the DDE or Adam feed boom 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 there's just no examples anywhere that I, I can see um, to see this working um, and I'd like to have that and you know to, to see that so I'm gonna invite the guy to uh, be part of my uh, uh, hopefully do a, a, a presentation on that um, so that's kind of the direction we're going in so it comes back to IQ feeds um, what I did want to show you is the um, um, different uh, calculations so let, let, let let's go in here and look at the uh, fees. Um, so there's a fee calculator. Um, it's going to ask me what platform I'm using. I'm just going to say other because it's not listed here. Oh well, it is popular. Don't worry. Don't you worry. Um, do I have no? I, I, I'll just say I'm not a trading professional because I'm not. Um, these are the exchanges that I'll need. Uh, I'm not obviously trading uh, 
the um, the uh, on any exchange whatsoever right yet so I just do a next um, but now we're getting into the premium service now this is where uh, I'm focusing on is the Forex basic and the Forex data premium which is FX CM and 10 for uh, this one's just the one uh, contributor to this fee which is FX CM I'm okay with that because um, you know I'm, I'm only going to paper trading so data will be important to me down the line but for just paper trading and developing uh, my different strategies I have in place and different ideas this this is a good option for me um, the FXCM and 10.4 uh, when you do go in more in a professional level uh, between these two providers uh, you get a total of 30 contributors so uh, I did confirm with uh, somebody at IQ fades. Uh, these are the. Um, uh, let me just do a a, a, a list of uh, um, contributors to to uh, um, to uh, to the uh, ten four. It, it's a variety of different banks. Uh, uh, just trying to see if I can find that link. If not, I'm not going to worry about it. Um, but uh, at this point, uh, you, like I said, you're going to get 30 uh, contributors with with that um, data feed. So um, let me just just go with the basic for now, um, and then here's the calculation. So what you what you do is you pay your first initiation fee of fifty dollars. You pay a recurring fee of, uh, of $90 each month for the basic feed of, of 65 plus that 25 monthly uh, premium fee of $90 each month. Now, considering that is pretty cheap, um, but again, I'm only focusing on the, uh, the Forex. Now, uh, want you to realize that there is a difference between IQ feed um, which is note note this company here Televent or Tel Telvent, um, but there is another service uh, from that same company called uh, NX Core. Um, NX Core is very high level, um, uh, very very professional. Um, let me just find it. Uh, yeah, I guess it's under the Nanex. Nanex is uh, one of the bigger ones. Um, from what I understand, it's minimum $500 a month. Okay, um, and here's word for word from this person at IQ Feed the difference. Uh, let me just uh, read it out to you. Uh, okay, so uh, NX uh, IQ Feed is a tick by tick real time. Um, okay, first, for, let, let's first talk about the rumor of IQ Feeds being not real time. Uh, this is the, uh, 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 something from um, uh, IQ Feed from Dave at IQ Feed said it is streaming tick by tick real time when you see it may be delayed it may be slow internet a slow computer or the uh, the computer is not programmed to capture the data um, for the large amount of data they send out um, so there's truth to that um, my response is uh, currently my internet connection to where I am I have 6 megabits per second the service will be upgraded to uh, 25 megabits per second so hopefully that's enough data bandwidth um, and then I have the ability in a few months to bump it up uh, even more to 50 uh, megabits per second so that, that might be an important factor if you are on a slow um, connection now the difference between IQ feed and this NX core that you're looking at right now uh, again, this this is from uh, Dave. IQ Feed has a free trial. Um, okay, the the base rate of our NX Core is five hundred dollars a month. IQ Feed is sixty five dollars a month. NX Core is institutional feed and used mostly by brokers and large hedge funds that need to update thousands of symbols at a time. IQ Feed base limit is. 500 simultaneous uh, symbols. That's a lot. Um, NX Core has years of tick history, um, and IQ Feed uh, has 120 days of tick history. So there is your difference between the two. Um, 
Uh, so you're better off, obviously, to start out with IQ feet. But if you do really get serious, I mean, if you're following more than 500 simultaneous uh, simul uh, simultaneous symbols, uh, you're 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 you gotta be having multi-million dollar uh, capital. So uh, I'm not gonna worry about that yet. And, and even if I was to get up to that level, I'll probably go with uh, something like a morning side or something. That's what everyone tells me to go with. So in essence, there you go. Um, that's the next set of steps. Uh, we've got the platform. I know I've been saying this for a while. Um, I'm not going to be uh, entertaining these platforms anymore. It's now time to start focusing on strategies, models, and actually contributing into the mem uh, the membership. As I've I've got some other people that are uh, within the membership that are willing to do that. So. In essence, if you're a kind of person uh, that wants everything for free, uh, go elsewhere because this is not what uh, Quant Labs is about. We put some money uh, into things. I do like open source. I do like having my source code and all that. But at the other end of it, there are those like me who are um, putting a lot of research into this and are actively trading, or will, in my case, will be in coming months. And those, those people, including myself, deserve to be somewhat compensated to allow others to learn from what we do. We could be saving you thousands and thousands of dollars. Uh, so people like myself should be uh, co compensated for it. If you think it's still an unfair uh, way of thinking, um, you would also need to put out outside of uh, just me. Uh, like I said, you've got your data provider, IQ fees right here. Um, you're also a, a small investment in the Q collector, um, and then there's also this uh, other service I was talking about with the trading platform, and like $100, $200 a month for the bridging between your statistical tool or analytical tool like R or MATLAB. There's another fee for that. So you're looking at a three, maybe a $300 a month um, a fee for a variety of different things to just get yourself up and running doing this type of trading. Um, Unfortunately, uh, you can easily walk into casinos for free and blow your money and hopefully make back something. Uh, trading's somewhat the same, but um, it, unfortunately, uh, it's like a business, and you got to. There's always some kind of overhead to that business. In this case, this overhead includes your data, uh, some services, whatever trading platform you go with. In my case, this, this open source one as well as um, the, the, the Q collector and some other stuff as well. Um, so that's something that needs to be uh, understood. Um, hopefully uh, that, that will help people uh, get up and running because I'm, 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 I'm uh, eliminating a lot of the hokey pokey other services out there. These are the ones that I'm going with and very confident in, in my choices. Um, and now I can, I can have those monkeys off my back, uh, gone, and then start focusing on the modeling and strategies and start reporting on those uh, results from, from, from that. So be on the lookout for more R and, and maybe some MATLAB. I'm not sure, but I'm going to be prioritizing everything on, on, on uh, R with a membership uh, for those that uh, don't know about it. Um, I do have uh, the, all, all, a, a lot of coding walkthroughs are um, coding walkthroughs as well as um, some other uh, algorithms and strategies that I've got in place that are probably well over 100. Um, so over and out um, on all this, I just want people to know where I'm going. Um, yeah, it's just too bad about the Java <coughs> platforms as I talked about. They just don't add up right now. There's another one, the C++ one I've been looking at, the trading shim. Um, same thing virtually no uh, documentation that one's also abandoned as for market etc um, I don't know <laughs> I'll let them let them continue down their path that they're where they're going but uh, that's about it uh, hopefully you enjoyed my little rant talk to you later